Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, November 4th, 2011. This week, how to create subway art with digital supplies. Subway art is a creative trend that is absolutely exploding on the internet. The art form consists of using words, fonts, and even pictures to create a visually appealing and meaningful display like this one by Doris and this adorable one by Janet. Using Photoshop brushes and digital scrapbooking papers, you can put together your own highly customized subway art to display or give as a gift. Here's how. Begin by opening a document the size and shape that you'd like to frame your art, and then open a piece of digital scrapbook paper and use the Move tool to drag it onto your document. Hold the Shift key as you drag to center it on your new document. Once it's there, you can go ahead and close your digital paper. Next, get the Rectangle tool, which shares a space on the toolbar down here with the Custom Shape tool and the Rounded Rectangle tool and the Line tool. Choose Shape Layers and create a new shape layer from the options bar and then drag out a rectangle on your document where you would like your word art to be. Open word art like Katie Pertit's blocked sentiment and then get the move tool to drag several pieces of word art onto your document. Remember to drag from an opaque part of the document and not a transparent part and then go ahead and close the word art as you drag it onto your page. Select one of the word art layers and press Control T on your keyboard on a Mac system that's going to be Command T to get the transform controls. Use the corner handles to resize the word art if you need to. When you're happy with the size, click the check mark in the options bar or in Photoshop Elements, the check mark will be here below your image. This confirms the change. While you have the transform controls active, you can use the side handles, which look like a curved arrow, to turn or twist the word art if you need to. Holding the shift key as you turn moves the image incrementally. Always click the check mark to confirm your twist or your tilt. Once your word art is in position, you may want to customize it. I'm going to show you several ways that you can personalize the word art. Let's begin with recoloring a portion of your word art. With the word art layer selected, get the rectangular marquee or any other selection tool and make a selection around the portion that you'd like to change. I'm going to zoom in by pressing Control plus and then repositioning my document so that I can see the word that I want to change. Drag out a selection around the word that you'd like to change and then choose Edit, Fill, and from the Contents box, choose Color. Choose a color and then click OK. And then make sure that you tick the Preserve Transparency box before you click OK again. Your word will fill with the color that you have selected. Press Control D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection. If you get into a sticky situation, you can also make a selection around all the words in the word art by Control clicking or on a Mac system Command clicking the thumbnail of the word layer in the layers panel. Then use the paint brush to paint a new color into the word selection using the foreground color as your paint color. You can just come in here and draw with the paintbrush within your selection to recolor it. And then again, press Control D to remove the selection. There are times that you may want to change a word or just remove a word and replace it with something else. To do this, select the word that you want to change. I'm going to draw around the word October and then press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. This erases the portion that you have selected. Now press Control D or on a Mac system Command D on your keyboard to remove the selection. To type in a new word, get the Type tool and choose a font, font style, and size here in the options bar across the top of the editing screen. Click and type in a new word and then position it if you need to before taking the check mark to confirm. Text can be resized like images by getting the transform controls that's Control T or on a Mac system Command T and then using the corner handles to resize. Using the same technique, you can also replace a word with a digital sticker or rub-on or some other visual embellishment. You may want to cover a word with photos or digital paper. To do this, select the word layer, 
and then make a selection around the word that you want to cover. Press Control J or on a Mac system Command J on your keyboard. This copies just the selection to a new layer. Now open your paper or your photo and use the move tool to drag it onto your page. Position it one step above your copy in the layers panel and then hold the alt key or on the Mac system the option key and click between the copy layer and the paper layer in the layers panel. This causes the photo to take the shape of your copied layer. Use this method to cover the matting paper as well. When you're happy with your word art, save it as a JPEG by selecting File, Save As, and then choosing the format JPEG here and giving it a new name. You may also like to save it as a layered PSD file just in case you find that you'd like to change something later. Once it's printed, slip the print into a frame or glue it to a canvas to display it. You can even glue it to a piece of painted wood. Subway art is so much fun and so easy to create, you can make a new one for each month or season. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Photoshop or Elements tip.